My name is uh, Don Yee. I'm a professor here at the University of Southern Mississippi in the School of uh, Biological, Environmental, and Earth Sciences. And I'm an ecologist who focuses on medical entomology. I didn't come to uh, study mosquitoes and other insects directly. Uh, when I was an undergraduate, I volunteered at a bird banding station at our undergraduate institution. And after working there for four semesters, I got really interested in doing field work. Um, so when I went away to do my master's degree, I thought I'd like to work on other flying animals, specifically bats. Um, so I went away for my master's degree to work on bats, but quickly figured out that I wasn't going to be able to do a, a, a project in the amount of time I had. Uh, so I asked my advisor at the time about other options, and he offered to send me to Puerto Rico for the summers uh, to work on insects. And so that's really how I got introduced to, to working on insects. It really got to the point during my master's degree that one of the things that was really frustrating about potentially working on mammals was the fact that you, they're difficult to study, um, they're not very abundant, you need lots of permits to work on them, etc. Uh, whereas insects, I collected 100,000 for my master's degree and they were very abundant and nobody cared if you collected them. So. Uh, it turned out to be a really great study system, and now I work on mosquitoes. Much of our work that we do in Puerto Rico is across different socioeconomic gradients. So we investigate mosquito populations and communities across different uh, neighborhoods. So we work in uh, very poor neighborhoods, and middle class neighborhoods, and more affluent neighborhoods. Um, and one of the things that we observe, which has been observed in a lot of places in the world, that those uh, lower socioeconomic class neighborhoods often have a higher burden of mosquitoes and mosquito-borne disease than other places. And we're just continuing to um, face that challenge and try to figure out what are ways that we can decrease that uh, variation in mosquito populations across these different neighborhoods. And it's something that if someone wants to get involved in social justice, this is probably one of the, the main ways that you could uh, investigate those kind of deficiencies. Um, by looking at disease burden, especially disease that's transmitted by vectors like mosquitoes and uh, ticks.